Okay, so the next thing I want to show is how we might use the new blend matrix node to do complex placements and blending of different matrices. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this axis and I want to place it in plane with this leg, basically to place where a pull target might be. So what we can do uh, is come in here to the node editor, we'll take the axis, we add it here, and we will add a blend matrix node. So this blend matrix node is going to take in the world matrix of the toe into the input matrix. So you can see that's the toe. It's going to take the hip. It's going to take the world matrix of the hip. Actually, first, let me do this. Let me create two targets. And the first target is going to be the world matrix of the hip. There. The second target, which you can now see here, is going to be the world matrix of the knee. And then I'm going to take those values, I'm going to drive them into the offset parent matrix of the axis. Um, I'm going to go ahead and zero out these values, and I'm going to take these values back down to one. So now I have this blend matrix, which it's all set up. If I come into the blend matrix and say, don't use this matrix and don't use this matrix, what you see is the axis is sitting at the toe, which is the input matrix. So the next thing we want to do is in order to stay in plane, we want to go halfway between this point and the hip. So our first target is the hip. So I'm going to say, let's use this matrix. And as you see, as I scrub this, it's going to go between those two values. So I want to go halfway between those two values. So I'm going to put a point 0.5 here. Then the next thing I want to do is I want to go from this point towards the knee. So if I check use matrix on this, you'll notice that I've weighted one to the knee, so I've ended up at the knee. So as I go from zero, I go back to the previous state, and as I go to one, it's going to go to that knee. But I wanna go all the way out to where the pull vector is. So I'm gonna take this guy and I'm gonna scrub him all the way out here to around, let's say 4.5. So now I have a value that's sitting out there 4.5. Now you'll notice that it was rotating and, and translating at the same time. I don't want it to rotate. I don't want to use the rotation of this. I don't want to use shear. I don't want to use scale. I also don't want to use the rotation of the second one or shear or scale. I just want the translation position. And so now I have placed this object within the plane of that leg. So even as the leg moves, you'll notice that that object remains in plane with the leg at all times. So now using the blend, I've created something that is in plane.